In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Heavenly Father, once again we are here to give you praise, to give you honor, to thank you, Lord, for this wonderful privilege that you have given us together as one family to praise you, to honor you, to glorify you, to testify, Lord, what a great and awesome God you are. Today, Lord, as we have gathered here, we want to testify how your word has impacted our life, how this word has been transforming our thinking, how your word has helped us to live a victorious life, a life of abundance, a life of victory, a life of joy, a life of peace, a life in spite of all the challenges, in spite of all the persecution, in spite of, we are not reaching yet to where we desire. Yet, Lord, this journey with you through your word and with the help of the Holy Spirit, helping us to renew our mind, helping us to grow in our faith, helping us to grow in our intimacy with you. Today, once again, Spirit of God, we invite you to this class to take complete control of everything that we do, everything that we say. Take complete control of our minds, Lord, so that as we begin to share all that you have done in our lives, let you and you, Jesus, be glorified because your name is above every name. You are greater than any situation, any problem, any circumstance in our lives. And today, Lord, we are here gathered together to hear our brothers and sisters who are going to testify what an awesome God you are. What wonderful things you have been doing in our life. Allowing us to experience the supernatural. Allowing us to experience the victory that you, Lord Jesus, has obtained for us on that cross of Calvary. Spirit of God, at this moment, take complete control of these proceedings of this class. Nothing of us, everything of you. Let every word that we utter bring glory to your name. And this Father... We ask and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So my sisters and brothers, I want to wish you all a, a wonderful Sunday. I want to bless you all for being here to glorify the Lord. Those of you who, you know, who have um, already agreed to give your testimony, praise God. Those of you who are still, you know, undecided, you can still, you know, put it on the chat and say you want to give your testimony. And later on, I can add you as a co-host so that those who want to share their testimony can, you know, um, you know, encourage us with their testimony of what the Lord has been doing in our lives. So without any further delay, I would like to invite our first sharer, Sister Mariola, to give her testimony. Sister Mariola, you can unmute yourself. You are our first sharer for today. Yeah. I'll start. Yes, sister. Go ahead. Lord Jesus, I believe in you, deepen my faith even more. I trust in you, strengthen my trust even more. I love you, Jesus. May I love you more and more, deepen my relationship with you, my intimacy with you. I thank you, Jesus. I'm a forgiven sinner. I am healed and restored. Draw me closer to you. And may I do our Father's will at all times. On last Monday, I said the prayer, healing prayer over me, that is Mark 11, Jesus cursing the fig tree. Mark 11, 20, 25, speaking to the mountain, speaking to my ailments, especially the gland in the neck. I went to the doctor to get the gland out and send it for biopsy as I had done twice before some years back. One was on my breast and one on the back. Uh, and both were non-malignant. To my great delight, the doctor examined me and said there was no gland. Jesus gave me more than I asked him. He told me this fact. I told Jesus eternity will not be enough for me 
to thank him. Thank you, Jesus. 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 That's it. God, praise God. Now, Sister Mariola, tell me one thing. You know, when you came to our healing service, was it the last Saturday? Did we have a healing service last Saturday? Yeah, not last Saturday, was it? I don't know, I forgot. Not, not yesterday, the week before that, we had a healing service. Yeah, and yeah. You did ask about, you know, prayer for healing for that gland of yours, remember? Yeah, yeah. And then you said the gland is not there. And then you said, I can steal it. And I told you, I said, sister, your, the Lord has already healed your gland. We, 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 we released the faith and you said, I, I hope so. And I said, don't hope so. Believe that it is gone. Mm -hmm. Only keep thanking the Lord. Remember? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but I think, you know what? What you were feeling with your fingers was talking to you more loudly than the word itself. So you decided to go to the doctor so that the doctor would finally say what the Lord said to you that you are already healed. So now that when you went to the doctor and the doctor said there is no gland, what you heard from the Lord saying that you're completely healed was now confirmed by the doctor, wasn't it? And he gave me even more because there was no gland only. There was, was only no gland only. So it all this like time, all this time that you were touching that particular place, was it the gland or was it your finger that is actually trying to think there is a gland? No, no, there was fat. That still is, but it is fat. He said, not gland. You haven't to take it out. Yeah, so there is no, there is no, there is no gland as such. There is no problem there. It's only no. some sort of flesh, which probably, you know. Fat, fat. fat. There is only fat, fat there. Mm. Now that fat is there because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's basically not a problem. But your no. gland, your gland, which was at one time causing you some discomfort, is, is not even there. Everything is fine. Yes, yes, everything fine. He gave me more than I asked because I asked that the gland may not be malignant. Now there's no gland only. Praise God, praise God. Yes, praise so, God. So, Sister Mariola, when doctor told to, me, yeah. when doctor told me, I said, doctor, he's a Catholic doctor. I said, doctor, I praise God, I thank God. I never, um, I'm, I'm so happy with the news. He looked at me, he didn't say anything. Okay. Now, Sister Mariola, let me ask you one thing. Yeah. Okay. When the Lord told you on that Saturday, when you actually were feeling the gland and all the thoughts were running in your mind and the yeah. Lord said to you through his word, he has already healed you. Yeah. Were you jumping with the same joy as you were jumping when the doctor said to you? Uh, I was jumping with joy, but not the same joy. So that means only when the doctor said, you jumped with greater joy than when the Lord said. Yes, I did indeed. But the Lord only spoke to me through doctor. No, no, he no. Only no, no, sister, I'm not saying that. Listen, I'm not saying that you should not go to the doctor. But I'm only asking you, where should have been your joy greater? When the Lord said or when the doctor said? When the Lord said. Yeah. And that's exactly what I wanted to bring to home to this point is, you know what? When the word says something and you believe the word, you are never going to change your confession. You're never going to say what you're feeling because what you're feeling is not the truth. You're, what you're feeling is a lie. Yes, I know. What, what the word says is the truth. If you yes. can just believe the truth and keep confessing the truth, that truth is going to set you free. Yes. How many times, my dear sister, how many times we have allowed Till the doctor said it's okay, we have allowed ourselves to go through so much of pain, so much of anxiety, so much of worry, so much of discomfort, because even though the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings through his word has said we have been healed, we still need a human doctor who's got a nose, who's got hands, who's got feet, who's got eyes, who looks like a human being to tell us that everything is okay. How many times? Yeah, yeah. Isn't it true? And yeah. that is why, and that's why 
The more we begin to spend time with the word, the more we begin to have a relationship with Jesus, the more we begin to know him through his word, this God who's faithful to his word will always allow us to experience that joy, to be able to dance, to be able to sing, to be able to be joyful and, and you know, be so bubbly, even though that manifestation in our body is still going on. Because only when the manifestation goes and the doctor tells us, that's the time we are jumping with joy. What about when the Lord says, the moment the word says we have already been healed, it's time for us to celebrate. The moment we say, Amen, it's time for us to celebrate. I know. You know, you, you mentioned about Mark chapter 11, verse 23. Remember? Yeah, yeah. You spoke about, you spoke to the mountain. You said, if I, if yeah. I speak to that the mountain, I command that Glenn to live, it has to live. The moment you said, Amen, that's the time you already were healed. That's the time you received your healing. Maybe you did not receive it, a manifestation of the healing in your body. But when you said Amen, in the spiritual world or in the unseen world, the miracle already yeah. took place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you with me? Yes, and yes. And therefore, between the time it took place in the spiritual realm, in the unseen realm, and it actually manifested in your body, all that you do after the Amen is just keep thanking the Lord, keep praising did, the Lord. I did. Yeah. I did. I did, Vincent. Praise God, sister. Praise God. And because you did that, now you went to the doctor and you received the confirmation of what you were believing. And the doctor said, there is no gland. Yes. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Thank God. Praise, Praise God. God. And you know, Praise sister, I don't think you're sharing this testimony only say because there is no gland. Because even though there was a gland, even though you were in some sort of a discomfort, even though your mind was running over time, with whatever thoughts were there, could it be malign malignant or not? You still went about doing your work, going about and, you know, sharing yeah. the word to others. You yes. did not stop. You have no. been going every day, isn't it? Yes, almost every day. Praise God. Praise yes. God. And you know, God. sister, why your testimony is inspiring is not because... And I did, I did not speak of it to anyone except to the superior because I have to tell the superior to go to the doctor. Praise and she God. came with me. He came with me. Praise God. Praise yeah. God. And she so came with you, is it? Because in the tongue, life and death is in the tongue. Praise God. Praise yeah. God. And you know, sister, even though you were having those thoughts running in your mind, you were believing for the healing. And then when you went to the doctor, what you believed actually mm -hmm. happened. You had yes. no problem with your gland. You had no, no problem with your health. And now you know how this word has given you so much of joy, so much of confidence that when you go out to minister to somebody, you're not just telling them some theory, you're telling them from a very experiential point of view. You have experienced yeah. the healing yourself. You have seen the glory in your life yourself. Yeah. And therefore, when you go out to house to house and start sharing the gospel with others, you know what you have received. Therefore, you know this God is not unfair or he doesn't have partiality or he has no favorites. If he can do it to you, he can do it to everyone whom you are sharing the gospel. Right? Yes. Yes. Now tell yes. me, Sister Mariola, before, before, say about two, three weeks ago, I remember you came to this class and you say, I'm going to houses to share the gospel. And I yes. told you, Sister, don't just lay hands on the people. Don't just yes. pray over them. Spend a few moments sharing the word. Tell me, yes. sister, is that, is that really happening right now as you go it house to house? It is happening, happening. Yes, yes. So instead both of, of us, playing with Both somebody, of us are doing. Freddie also is doing. I do, I'm doing. Before Freddie used to do, I never used to do. Now I do, I'm doing. Praise God. So, so how much of time when you go to a house, sister, are you spending time sharing the word? And how much time you are spending in praying over somebody? It takes us some time, yes. I didn't see the time, but it takes time. Earlier, you used to go house to house on a, on a doctor's visit. Yep. You know what? Now, last yes, Saturday, we came home only at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, almost. Three, uh, I think we your, your began at 4.30. We came only at 4 o'clock or 4.05, 4.15, 4, something. And that's, and that's why you were late. And that's why you were late to join this class. Yeah. Right. So, so sister, tell me one thing. Before you used to go house to house and you used to go on a doctor's visit. You know what is a doctor's visit? He comes there, 
puts his stethoscope he says okay you got this take up give a prescription and go now you're not even op- taking your stethoscope now you're not even opening up anything you're first talking to the to your patients you're talking yeah. to all the people in the house sharing the word with them and then you're spending a little time making that pray and you are singing signs and wonders happening isn't it yeah. and now i will have something more because of my uh, of the miracle in me yeah yeah because when you're going to share you're going to share what the lord has done in your own life yes Isn't that yes. wonderful yes god is wonderful praise god praise god and you know sister if somebody probably you know in the 45 50 or somebody much younger would have been sharing this testimony they would have said oh thank you god i was having this problem with my gland you healed me praise god but when somebody comes to know that you're only 82 years old and you are still going around and you got healed the lord is saying my child my daughter mariola you know what this is only the tip of the iceberg you have seen now you are going to go house to house and you are going to see miracles happening when you lay hands on people after you share the word with them isn't that thank wonderful you, thank you thank you jesus praise god you, praise thank god praise god praise god sister god is not finished with you yet he started using moses when he was 80 years old most of the people when they are 80 years old they will say coming home coming home or they'll be sitting in their in their in their in their bedroom you know praying or doing some spiritual exercises just waiting for you know for the and and the and the family will be thinking this person is old enough what now we have to feed them with their a spoon in their mouth you on the contrary at 82 have just started your second innings which is the best innings of your life yes indeed isn't it sister mariola yes 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 and she scores century Praise God! Praise okay. God! Yes, Sister Joyce. Indeed, that's exactly what it is. You know, <laughs> when you begin to become a uh, usable in the kingdom, when you begin to go out, you are not even saying to yourself, "Oh, I'm 82. Why should I go out now? I have worked as a principal, as a superior. I have, I have done all these positions in in the convent of the of the Carmelites. Why do I need to go house to house? But look at this, Sister Carmel. What an inspiration you are to us. Apostolic Carmel. Sorry, what is it, sister? In the apostolic, I said in the apostolic Kamal, I have done this, that, and the other superior principle, whatever. Yes, yes, as principal, superior, everything. And now at eighty-two, you are doing the best job. I think that you ever would have ever thought you would. You may not have thought about this so many years ago. Would you have thought about it? Sure, 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 sure. I'm sure you would have said, "Oh, I've done everything that I should have done. I've reached every position in the in the Carmelite Apostolic Carmelite Convent. Now it's time for me to retire. It's time for me to live live a retired life. And on the contrary, instead of living a retired life, sister, you are going now right from nine in the morning till about two, three in the afternoon for what? To share the gospel and to tell people." what a good god we have isn't that wonderful thank you also because of you the word of god came otherwise sister, i was not i am only an instrument sister yes, but I what is important is it is it is ultimately the spirit of god that you have yielded to which is allowing yes, you to go and be a blessing yes. to so many mm-hmm. families so mm-hmm. many families are being touched because you are going at, at at this age with all that strength that comes from the lord isn't that wonderful yes yes thank, thank you, you jesus Thank you, Lord. Jesus. We thank you for Sister Mariola. Thank you so much for for this precious nun who has dedicated her life to you, Lord. Even though she has done everything possible that could have been done, yet at this moment, Lord, we thank you that she is such a blessing in your kingdom. You have not done with her yet. There is so much that you have put inside of her. The love that you have put into her. That she is being a blessing. She is sharing this love. to the nations and i thank you father for sister mariola thank you sister thank you for thank being you. such an inspiration to us thank, thank you for being you. a blessing to the nations thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus thank, thank you jesus thank you thank you jesus thank you jesus praise god praise god praise god thank you sister mariola for your testimony yeah. okay let's have our next share of brother sandeep brother sandeep Can you come, please? You are our next sharer. You are our next sharer, brother. Brother Sandeep, are you there?
Brother, you can share now. Yeah, praise the Lord, brother. Praise yeah. God, brother. Praise yeah. God. Go ahead, brother. Yeah. Uh, praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Uh, I have a small testimony. It is about uh, my society. Uh, uh, last week on the 18th of August, uh, we were having a, a bore well digging. What is it, brother? Uh, see, what I, is it? I, I, let me give you first background. Uh, Borwell, Borwell, brother, Borwell. Borwell, yeah. okay, okay, okay. It's a actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, since last four years, we do not have water. We have water crisis in our society, and uh, we are surviving on the water supply to the water outside tankers, tanker okay. waters. And uh, uh, since four years, uh, we were struggling, and we are buying water from outside. And praise God. Uh, 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 our builder has tried four places uh, this bore well digging and uh, he, it could not succeed. Uh, it was in begin, but uh, uh, praise God, uh, since last couple of uh, years, there was good water. So uh, this time our society members and uh, all the senior people have thought that let us try again uh, for digging. And uh, as usual, they started their uh, process. They called, uh, uh, they arranged, uh, uh, the, the water digging uh, truck and all equipments and all uh, persons, technical people and all. And they, uh, before doing that, as usual, as a Hindu ritual, they, they did some puja and all. And uh, praise God, in, it was happened in the 9.41 in the morning. I just saw and I went to office. And when I come back, uh, I saw that uh, it was started nicely that uh, it was arranged by some politics who was also supply the water through tankers water supplier and uh, praise God, uh, the same person has arranged this uh, water digging because he is a politician. And uh, uh, they started with the puja and they tried a uh, whole day. And when I came in evening, uh, still uh, the digging was going on. And praise God, uh, Lord, uh, remind me the scripture, Mark 11, 23, speak to the mountain. And praise God, I, pray, I believe and I prayed and uh, I first bind the spirit and I command that uh, stones because uh, uh, my society built on a stone, rocky stone. And there was very much uh, hard stone inside uh, this. And uh, because of that, uh, they were trying since whole day and they could not succeed to get the water. And it was happened till uh, eight, uh, midnight for long 18 hours in morning that our society, uh, after I prayed and I just... Uh, went for sleep because it was uh, when I came to home that I thought that uh, these people are uh, creating noise and uh, it will it, it is just behind my uh, house it, uh, not behind beside of my house and uh, it was a huge noise because of the digging uh, truck and instrument so uh, I, I prayed and then I went to sleep and then midnight it was stopped. Then I thought that something happened. Then uh, morning when I uh, wake up, 9.30, our society chairman sent a message on the society group that very good news. news. Congratulations, everyone. By the grace of God and your prayers and well wishes, after 18 hours of hard work by technical team, finally we successfully get new water source for society for newly borewell expression and praise God, oh. praise God, it was three inch water, brother. Unexpected. Praise God. Praise I was glory God. to God. Praise God. Praise God. So, so brother Sandeep, I want to ask you a question. Yes, brother. You know, you said that before they began to do the borewell digging, you said they did some puja Yes, and they were finding no success, correct? Yes, yes, yes. When you reached there at the end of the evening, did I, I did not, actually... brother, I did not went to there exactly. I just stand on my gallery and I was watching from my gallery and second floor and looking there what they are doing. Every uh, society members went to home for sleep and this technical team was trying and uh, trying and then I, uh, I rebuked the uh, whatever the hurdles and hard things are there and praise God. So was... you are saying brother that after you opened your mouth and spoke to that mountain, although you could get all the reports, negative reports on the WhatsApp, 
that there is no water being found when you spoke to the mountain and you spoke mark 11:23 that's the time you saw in the night or early morning that these people who were continuously digging after 18 hours were able to find water is that true yes brother praise god now 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 my brother sandeep i want to ask you something we know that you prayed from your gallery mark 11:23 Yes. Did anybody in your society, or did anybody in your in your in, does anybody in your society is is a believer? Are there anybody Christians in your in your society? Sorry, brother. What you are say? Are there any I... Christians? Are there any Christians in your society? Uh, brother, I am. Uh, I am with uh, one more, one two more family are there. Yeah, I we have Christian group for three members. Okay, so you already have a WhatsApp group with your members or Christian members of your society. Yes, yes. Okay, so right. are they also receiving the word of God? Yeah, I am forwarding our daily... Uh, okay, now my uh, question, uh, my brother, yeah. why I'm asking you this is, I know you made Mark 11, 23, the prayer from your gallery for somebody that nobody saw, but you spoke to the mountain. Yes. Will you be able to have an agreement prayer with the other three members of the of the group which are which are belonging to your society, so that you could say, listen, they are having a problem, but we are going to come into agreement with Mark eleven twenty three. Now, what would happen is those two other families which are also in the group would begin to see how when you made that prayer of agreement of with Mark eleven twenty three, the society was able to find the water. You have somebody to witness to your to yes, your, to yes. your faith. You have yes. somebody to agree with you. Now, yes. you are sharing it with us. See, we understand we are not even part of the society. But somebody right. in the society who is yes, actually true. getting these updates all the time, you begin to join hands with them and you say, listen, we have already formed the prayer group. Why not? We, we ignore those messages which are coming and let us all unite in prayer and come into agreement. Now, when they find water, do you think that those people are going to think it's the efforts of those people who dug or it has to be the supernatural? Praise God. Yeah, it was supernatural, but uh, I could not date this. Uh, so it was, uh, so I, praise God. Uh, now praise I God. will, yeah. Yeah, because, will because you know, brother, see, uh, these opportunities uh, that come as a right. society, they won't come every day. They won't come very often. Because yes. most of the people in your society are unbelievers. You can't tell them, yes. you know, Mark 11, you, you spoke to the mountain. They will say, Sandeep, you're gone out of your mind. What speak to the mountain? They have to dig. They have to find the water. Right. But they don't right. know that when we operate according by the supernatural, God directs the people because of our agreement prayer and gives that wisdom to the people, not because they have the wisdom, but because we have come in agreement with the Holy Spirit and his word now, their minds right. have been directed to do exactly what you have come into agreement for the good of everybody. Amen? Yeah, I mean, amen, brother. Praise True. God. Praise but brother, God. that's wonderful testimony because you know what? You stood your ground. See, what you are testifying is so wonderful for us to hear. But I'm looking at it from a point where right. even the members of your society, they also they have an opportunity to grow in their faith because when Three families, which were believers in that in that in that society, agree and they find water when they were not finding water after so long. That is going to build the faith of the believers. And I'm sure when those three people in, in that society, you know, when you send a WhatsApp group, thank you, you just put say, praise God, you know, we come came into agreement. Now people who don't understand, they say, mm -hmm. Wow, there were people who were praying in agreement. Now see what the Lord has done to them. Look, you know, it's exactly what the first reading says today. Yes. The first reading of Deuteronomy. The, the, the book of Deuteronomy is that God had given them rules and regulation. He had given them laws so that the people who don't know the laws, people who don't know the, all those rules and regulations would say, what a great nation, what great wisdom the Lord has given them those rules and regulation where they are standing beyond us and they begin to be envious of us because of what the Lord has done to us in our life. And they also would like to come and join our party. They would like to join our group as well because of what God has done. Amen. 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 Brother, I have one more small. Yes, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I have one small testimony also. Uh, uh, brother, since uh, I uh, I have to travel next month for Varanasi, so I was I was thinking for getting vaccinated. I did not vaccinated so far, 
because I travel, I believe that I am already vaccinated by blood of Jesus and God has already protected me three, four times uh, by this corona. And I believe that uh, I, the in my blood streams, the blood of Jesus is flowing. So praise God. Uh, but uh, because for traveling and for the documentation purpose, I have to vaccinate it. So I got the opportunity and uh, I went yesterday with my family, with my wife and mother. And praise God, uh, uh, everyone who uh, got vaccinated in my office and at my workplace, all got fever and the pain and uh, some kind of uh, uh, fear and all words that I hear that after vaccine, you uh, we get the fever and doctor also gave the medicine and all. So praise God, I believe that I, I just, uh, I did not believe on their word. I believe on the what God said. And praise God, I went to the for vaccination. And before, when I was taking vaccination, uh, I I speak and I also told my family members when the vaccinate uh, vaccine injected in your body, just say that I am vaccinated by blood of Jesus, praise and God. Uh, God. nothing will happen. Praise God, and we believe and we did it. And praise God, uh, the doctor given us the uh, the painkiller and all the uh, fever medicine, and uh, since. Uh, Yesterday night, uh, 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 it was smooth vaccination. Although uh, I I hear that if we put hard hand, then uh, it will get pain. So uh, I tried, and uh, when I was vaccinated, uh, I have a fear of uh, taking injections. Uh, I was having, I was having, not now. Before that, whenever I went for injection, I have fever, fear that uh, <laughs> something go inside in my body, it hurt me, and it give me so much pain so yesterday there was not such thing but i uh, i because i wear the tight t-shirt and i uh, uh, raise it so little hardness was there and when the vaccine get injected inside little uh, uh, heaviness was there praise god and since uh, uh, the enemies was beating me in my mind that uh, now you are getting pain and you got the medicine so I, I decided that, uh, Lord, uh, you said by wounds of Jesus, I'm already healed. So this pain is illegal in my body and whatever the injected, uh, uh, the blood of Jesus is flowing in my blood, my uh, veins and my uh, blood cells. So uh, it, uh, it will not harm me. So praise God. I, I have a good sleep in night and no fever, nothing, no pain. And praise God, uh, my wife is also did not take took the medicine. I also did not took the medicine and we are all right. Perfectly all right. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, so brother Sandeep, all this time, I mean, tell me when was the last time? I, I learned brother, I, I, I missed this uh, scripture that uh, John 6, 56, uh, that who, uh, whoever eat my flesh and drink my blood uh, will Yeah, brother. Yes. Brother Sandeep, did I lose you there? Nothing was there. No, no harm, no pain, no fever, nothing. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You know, you know, Praise brother Sandeep, God. you know, brother Sandeep, you just shared that earlier you used to get afraid when somebody used to poke a, a injection into your body. Remember? Yes. Yes, brother. When, since when have you got this... Um, fear gone out of you. When is the last time you had this fear? Whenever somebody has to give you an injection, you're going to have some fear into you. And since when this fear has gone out of you? Uh, last injection I took, uh, I think almost three or, uh, no, not three, two years back. And uh, yesterday I was, uh, before that time, because since I know the truth and I know the scriptures, so I cast out the fear and uh, uh, I am vaccinated uh, smoothly, no problem. And, and it's been only two years since you have been continuously, uh, you know, been hearing the word of God. One and a half year. Yes, brother. One and a half Praise year. God. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. So this one year of pandemic and the year before that when we used to come as testify to share the word in Pune. And ever since then, you have no fear of any injection. You know that you are vaccinated by the blood of Jesus. Isn't that wonderful? 
Praise God. Praise Thank God. you, Jesus. All glory God. to Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. So, so brother Sandeep, now that you have taken your first dose of vaccination, are you going to take your second dose and then go to Varanasi on mission? Or no, no. No, brother. I just, I, I was waiting for one certificate and now I got the certificate and I have a license to travel. Praise God. Praise God. So with one vaccination, you got a license to travel now. Yeah, brother. I got the paper in my hand and I can travel. Now. Isn't this the favor of the Lord? Yeah. Praise with God. One vaccination, you you are you are already going to be traveling to Varanasi on a mission trip. And isn't that Praise with God. one vaccination, you get a certificate to travel? Isn't that beautiful? Praise God. Praise God. Praise Thank you, Jesus. Thank beautiful. You, Jesus. Absolutely beautiful, brother. Absolutely beautiful. Awesome. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Isn't you, that Jesus. God's great? You know, you require two certain uh, two, uh, two vaccinations, the first dose and the second dose in order to get you a certificate which enables you to travel and look at my brother Sandeep when he is going to do the Lord's work. He's in Pune. He has to go to Varanasi almost about, you know, across the country, right from the right from the west, right across to the north, north, northeast, north, north. Yeah. north, north. And you know, it's I, I probably how many how many thousands of kilometers? At least about a thousand kilometers. How many? Yeah, thousands? it's 1500, I think. Yeah, 1500 15, kilometers. Yeah. So 1500 kilometers across, you have to go. And I think, uh, how are you going to go, brother? By train? By train, brother. By train. By train. Almost a, probably about two two days journey. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Uh, although, brother, there is no restriction now for traveling. Only thing they, uh, when they check, uh, when they do the checking and uh, since I'm traveling from Pune, so they always check if uh, someone is coming from different state. So they ask for certificate and all these papers uh, before entering. Otherwise, they will uh, take me for uh, 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 that other test, uh, uh, what, what we call this. Uh, some swipe, swipe, and all test. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise so, God. So, so, brother, you by this one vaccination and getting that certificate is only a proof that the Lord has called you on this mission. And when He calls you on a mission, He makes the way clear for you because it is His job that you are doing. It becomes His responsibility to give you the all go ahead, to give you the clearance because you are not doing your job. You are doing the job of the Lord of heaven and earth. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And that's the beautiful thing. You know, my brothers, uh, brothers and sisters, what Brother Sandeep had just shared is this. When you focus on doing what God has called you to do, don't you ever worry or sweat or get worried about what, how it will happen, how we'll meet people, who will come to hear us. You don't need to worry. All that you need to do is if the Lord has put it into your heart in order to go and share the gospel, it becomes the Lord's responsibility to open the way for you because it is his work that you are doing. It becomes his responsibility. Just be at rest in your mind. Just thank him in advance because this God, when you do his work, when you work for the CEO of heaven and earth, he is a faithful God. He'll open doors and windows for you in order to share the gospel because he wants his word to reach to the ends of the earth. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Praise Jesus. God. Thank you, Brother Sandeep, for sharing. That was awesome. Just one small thing that uh, this vaccination was also, I did not apply for the vaccination. My society, one of the politician the person, he just informed me that we have a vaccination, uh, uh, this in our neighbor building. And okay. uh, they called me and I brought my family. It was, it was all arrangement. Uh, from God, <laughs> it was I did not apply for any appointment and nothing for vaccination. So the Lord supernaturally created a, an opportunity for you, and now you are being able to have that vaccination. Plus, you get the certificate in order yes, to God. travel on mission. Yes, brother. Praise, Praise God. God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't our God an awesome God? All glory to him. All glory, All glory to, to Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank yes, you, God. Jesus. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much for being a blessing in the kingdom, for doing such wonderful work. Even though you've got small little children, your mom is with you and uh, Pushpa is with you. Yet, you know, as the, as the gospel really says, 
whoever loves father and mother and children and everybody more than me cannot be my disciple. You have decided that if God put that into your heart, you will have to leave your family behind for some time to go to do that job of God's work and, and you know, save those souls or proclaim to those souls. And God supernaturally has shown you his glory by, you know, giving you that uh, all go, go ahead. And plus, he has shown you time and again how he has protected you from coronavirus. Isn't that wonderful? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Praise Jesus. God. Thank you, Jesus. All glory to Jesus. All Thank glory you. to him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Brother Sandeep. And our next sharer right now is my sister Joyce. Sister Joyce, yes. you are our next sharer. The flow is yours to share your testimony. Praise God. Yeah, praise God. I've never given a testimony like this, God's. I don't know. I, it's going to be a little long, but I feel like, you know, I just want to tell everyone what happened, you know, in my life. Praise God, sister. Praise in my God. Life. Go ahead. Go ahead. I and, was in a, and give I was the in a glory convent. to Jesus for what he has done in your life. Yeah. I was in a convent all the days of my life. And when I came out, I was healthy. I had a lot of Jesus in me, made a lot of retreats, had a lot of knowledge of uh, scripture because it was my subject also for senior king. And, but after I came out and came home, I started, one day I said, I'm feeling giddy. And then, you know, um, I used to get scared of death and I would tell them I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Everyone would cry in the house and my mother used to my father used to say now she finished her commercial send her to work send her to Calcutta to work because and I didn't want to go I wanted to be a teacher he said no you will go to Calcutta and work as a secretary because I did commercial and I over there I was scared any interview I would not go I had to have someone with me one day my auntie sent the sweeper dressed him up nicely, put him in the back of the tram. And I was looking to see where he is. I would not go out alone. Also. And then my mom got me married because then she decided this girl is going on with this indigestion and phew, I'm going to die. Mm. And so can you imagine? I was very close to God. We said family rosary every day. My mother used to say, the trouble is you got no faith. And she was such a holy person, you know, like she would say, okay, I'll pray for you. You go to Calcutta, you'll be fine. And then I would give up my job and come back home and say, no, no, no. My food is all coming out and I can't, my giddy in the office. And all the girls, when I lost my husband, they said, my God. If you all said Mrs. Franklin died, we'll believe it. But Mr. Franklin was so healthy and he died in front of my eyes, you know. After that, my mother got angry and she said, what are you doing? You see that poor man, he must have got fed up with you because, and me, like, and I used to feel, yeah, I was not, I was only wrapped up in myself. Although we said family rosary every day, and I had all the pictures and I had sacred heart enthronement and I was bringing up my children with a lot of spiritual songs and, and whatever. And after that, I sat up because I was a widow and I, you know, I was pretty young. I was 29. So I said, now, so you I'm were not a going widow to pray. At 29, is it? Yeah. So when you lost your husband, how many, after how many years of marriage did you lose your husband? After eight years. My son was seven only. So your son was seven years old. You were married for eight years when, when your husband passed away. Yes. All right. And then I started this nonsense again. I couldn't live alone. Then my mother said, come away to home, back to home. So I said, no, no, no. I got a seven-year-old son in St. Xavier's. I will work in GEC. All the girls, all the bosses used to support me. You know, if I said I'm feeling giddy, then 
they would send me to the best doctor. And to cut a sh- long story short, I, I had a gallbladder operation. They said that indigestion was due to that. I had stones in the bladder. They took it out when I was quite young, 30-something. And uh, I, I always had fear and always... One girl in the bus, she gave me Mother Teresa's prayer book. And I used to say those prayers every day. And Mother Teresa's prayers was, was the same like this word, you know. It was a prayer book. And it would be only to God the Father to the Holy Spirit and I liked it so much. I didn't like going to church and, you know, doing the normal, what you call religion now I've come to. I never found any solace in that. I would go because Sunday mass go. But I liked this prayer book and I kept on saying the prayer book and with that prayer book, a lot of things changed in my life and I wanted to be like Mother Trees. I wanted to be with the poor. I always used to feed my servants, feed the poor, and whatever. And I was very, they like loved me in the basti, you know. There was one basti with a lot of people, poor people, like huts. And they would be my best friends. But why? Because I couldn't sleep alone. I couldn't be alone. And then I married after four years. But... My mother-in-law came and went, and I had problems with that marriage because of my condition like this, you know. I didn't want the normal life of a woman. And mm. I wanted to, I can't be alone. But, and I wanted someone with me. And no man is going to come and hold your hand for nothing. Every time we go, the bosses are saying, I'll marry you. I'll take you away. I will look after your son. I used to get very scared. So there was one boy, very holy chap, and I married him. But, you know, he was a mama's boy. And he was, he and his mother used to torture me lots. Torture me all day. They were holy. They went to church. They practiced all the Christian rituals. But they were very, very dangerous. They put my son in court. When I went to Sydney to work for Marlene, I wanted to look after Marlene's baby. She she took me. And that's the time that fellow put my son in court, my big son, stepson, like, you know. I had to fly back from Sydney. And, you know, after that, I just couldn't stay anymore with him because he would... Um, a court case means they asked me to make M40 and put him out. And I told him, okay, I will come with you. You take another house and I will come. And I had problems there also. Anyways, whatever. Got a long story short. My son migrated to Melbourne. After I gave him an IIT. I worked very hard for him. Every time I had problems, I looked at his face. And I thought, no, no, I've got to make a man out of him. What his father wanted, I will do. And I did it, brother. So, so Sister Joyce, while I listen to your testimony, this is before you... But I didn't tell God. No, listen. Before you knew the the word. Because up till now, up till now in your Mm -hmm. testimony, I don't see any, any, any word of God. I don't see any relationship. It's all about, you know... Yes. Where was the point where you began... No, wait, wait. I will tell you. Only Mother Teresa's prayer book. Mother Teresa's prayer book told me lots. And I clung to that. And I used to say that every night. But there was no one like this to give the word and all that, you know. So to cut a long story short, anyways, whatever. Uh, uh, one day I was, uh, I, 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 Brother Linton and Yolanda, no, no, I had phoned, phoned Brother Johnson. He put me on to Marina. And Marina was feeding me with, you know, that 1 Peter 2.24. She told me to say that by Jesus' wounds, I'm, you know, by his stripes, I'm completely healed. 1 Peter 2.24, by the stripes of Jesus, we have been healed. So that one saved my life. Like, you know, I used to get up in the night and think, oh my God, I'm feeling giddy. But I'll say, no, 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 no. And I'll try to remember by his stripes, I am completely healed. I'll go to the kitchen and they all thought I was getting mad. 
because I was talking all the scripture to myself. That then I, she taught me another one. Um, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. God himself has anointed me, made me whole and set me free. I used to sing it in the bathroom, sing it everywhere. So with, which verse is that, sister? Do you remember the scripture? Which scripture is it from? Oh, spirit of the Lord. I know I had the scripture, brother, but that now I, I can't take it out. Luke 4, 18. Luke 4, 18. Oh, okay. That was Luke 4, 18. That was a okay, beautiful one. That yeah. saved my yeah. life. Yeah. I was getting fog in my brain. And this, I heard Brother Johnson's thing about how he couldn't take. Luke 4? Luke 4, 18. Okay. And then whatever but once then you land and all came and i then i got the word then i started saying isaiah 41 10 i found that and i said my god this is for me he's talking to me fear not for i'm with you i am with you be not dismayed for i'm your god i will lift you up and you know place you on the right hand amen i will amen. uphold you with the right hand of my justice and I love these, these three. And the John 10, 10, Father Zacharias gave me. The thief comes only to steal, kill and destroy. You know, John 10, 10. Beautiful. John 10, 10. The thief comes to kill, steal and destroy. But this, I have come. To, what did Jesus um, say? Why has he come? To give you life in abundance. To give you life in abundance. Amen. Amen. And beautiful there's a lovely one then one of the retreats where father Zacharias spoke on life in abundance and there's a video on that yeah then i changed uh, but then when brother changed but i still couldn't eat i used to keep bringing up my food then when brother yolanda and linton and all came to my house i made jungle palau and <laughs> i gave everybody jungle palau and they said, why you're not eating? So I said, no, brother, I, I get an indigestion. No, you take one plate, sit down there. And brother Linton said, eat it in the name of Jesus. And he gave me um, the same one, fear, fear not. Yeah, the 4110, Isaiah. And a lot of other things about the fig tree and all. He, he, he gave us the talk in the house. And I, I was enjoying it after that. I ate, nothing happened. I brought rasgullas for them. I went to the shop. They said they come from Bombay. They want to have rasgulla. Gave them all. I eat. You eat. You must eat in front of them. And I was so nice and healthy. I was ready to come to Australia. Then Shaila told me, don't go. I said, no. If I get my visa, I will go. I will put it in the Holy Spirit's uh, hands. I got a visa like a miracle. Nobody gets six months visa. Nobody. Takes 14 months, they told me. That was another miracle. Came. Whatever it is, I couldn't eat. Product. So tell me, sister Joyce. I would just. Now you are having these problems of eating. They gave you look for 18. No. But listen. Look for 18, yes. yes. Now, how did your visa All come? That, what was the was problem very... for your visa? For the visa, when I had it, they were there, Shaila and all. And I, I think it was, it was not 1 Peter 2, 24. I'm healed, they said. The spirit one, I really didn't answer on my own. Let the Holy Spirit take it. You, I put it in your hands. You guide me. You lead me. Should I go? Should I not go? Like mm. that. I didn't take any scripture. But... I was with them every step of the way. I was enjoying going house to house. I was taking them to Chicago, my, my brother's house. And we went to all the sick people and all that. So they didn't want me to go. They said, you're doing a good job. I think. But I, I was eating. I was not too bad. And I said, my God, I'm healed. I'm completely healed. When I came here, brother, I had this colonoscopy. They're very particular, you know, the first thing they go for cancer and all. And then they gave me bowel, the test, colonoscopy, and 
remember you prayed over me and they asked me to do another test breath test and i said no i'm healed i'm completely healed i never did the breath breath test. but the other day i was admitted in emergency and they said do a breath test so i did the breath te- breath test last week and the doctor called me and he said that you are you, you you i've got bad news good news so i said what is the bad news he said you've got a lot of bacteria in your stomach lining and the medicine for that is very very strong i don't know if you're going to be able to take it so i i said why is doctor is telling me that is frightening me then i said okay you know doctor i got god i serve a god a mighty god he said oh my then you come out to five days i will shake your hand you go pray to god <laughs> after you take the medicine you come to me i will shake your hand i said so i must when i came home i came into the room to take my medicine and all big, big capsules my god i've never taken in my life and you won't believe brother i was listening to father josh he does like miracles and he, people call out their sickness and he just says someone is suffering with this someone is so i was just listening because there was a retreat and carol gave me that i was listening to you won't believe i brought my medicine to come give it to the picture i said i will say it. take it in front of jesus even if they are like bombs and then you know as i stepped in with all the medicine in my hand like that he called out there's someone who's going to take medication those who are taking medication you know what the book of something about sirach 38 912 he said under that sirach 38 912 you are healed you are completely healed you know so i searched for sirach i couldn't find it and this is what it says finally somebody gave it to me i think that girl in the brekki show in not a show <laughs> the breakfast uh, with jesus and this is what sirach says brother i like you to to enlighten me about this who is sirach what is sirach sirach is the prophet he wrote about in sirach 38 that you should not ignore doctors and that yeah, god said, uses doctors in order to give you healing so don't yeah, ignore I doctors because doctors also are used by the lord to bring healing to your body so this is the thing my child yeah when you are ill do not delay but pray to the lord and he will heal you number 10 give up your faults and direct your hands rightly and cleanse your heart from all sin so we have to repent offer a sweet smelling sacrifice i don't know what this is and a memorial portion of choice flour and pour oil on your offering as much as you can afford what is that offer a sweet smelling sacrifice okay now listen sister joyce are we in the old covenant or are we in the new covenant okay this is old covenant then give the physician his place for the lord created him do yeah. not let him leave you for you need him i don't understand that okay part. now listen But when whatever, you read the book of sirach covenant yeah when you read the book of sirach uh-huh. you are reading what is mentioned in the law as per the old covenant but in the new covenant you have a much better promise and what is that promise yes in matthew about the physician yeah matthew you've got 1 peter 224 you've got john 638 that what brother sandeep was just sharing about vaccination you take you know a glass of water and you say lord by faith i am not drinking water anymore i am drinking your precious blood because john 630 as uh, john uh, 656 says when jesus says if you eat my flesh and drink my blood i yes. abide in you and yes. you abide in me brother i say that in the morning yeah. i do not the i do not the numbers right. but i know the scriptures every Correct. time i'm eating so, So you know what sister Joyce when you go to the old covenant and you begin to try to break your you know try to understand what the old covenant now you read about something about giving the flower and all 
these are all things that were done in the old covenant in the new covenant you don't need to give flower or you don't need to give a bribe to the lord or you don't need to give charity to the to the poor people so that you can buy your miracle from the lord many people today because they have not understood this truth what they do is they try to give you know if they get a bonus or they get their salary they begin to go and give alms to the poor because they feel god will be so happy that they so that they can get their miracle don't do this to get your miracle you don't need to do anything to get your miracle to get your miracle you simply need to believe the word yes jesus has already healed us he has already finished healing us so in the old covenant it was all talk about giving some flower giving something to the poor you know it's all about going to the doctor not that we don't have to go to the doctor even in the new testament but when you reach a level of faith you will never depend on the doctors because the word in you will first and foremost protect you from any sickness See, as i always mention in this class prevention is better than cure isn't it but brother i consider this like a god like a miracle because from the age of 21 they couldn't find what's wrong with me today when i'm 71 i think the word has brought my healing praise god they have diagnosed my case and my medicines are the body and blood of jesus every time i take it i say it's jesus Beautiful, sister Joyce. Beautiful. That's exactly the high point of your testimony. That's the high point. You had so many no, issues before. I wanted to. Now you know the word. And you know, brother, yesterday, day before, I was feeling very giddy, very, very giddy, and I said, "No, Jesus, I have to go back, Jesus, to the doctor and shake his hand and tell him that I got a mighty God." So that's my God. testimony. Praise God. I'm, so, I'm so you took the medications he gave you. I am still taking, brother. I just three days now. I got three more days. So, what did But, he give you? He gave you some antibiotics, is it? Yeah, all antibiotics. Antibiotics big, to basically kill that virus. To kill the virus. Two amoxicillins. One. Amoxicillin. Okay. 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 One is chlor chloramycin also. Two antibiotics. Praise I've never God. taken a tablet in my life. Like, praise God! So, so you have taken an antibiotic. Now that you take an antibiotic, you can make this prayer: Lord, I eat your body, I drink your blood. No deadly thing will harm me. All the side effects of this medication, I bind it, and only the positive effects of this medication are going to kill that virus. There'll be no side effects. There'll be no affecting my lining of my intestines. there be no side effects on you know in my, yes, in my because yes. usually antibiotics if you don't understand the word you know antibiotics have got side effects it will give you you know it will give you loose motions it will also yes. you lose yes. your appetite they tell you take vitamin c these are the usual things that medical life no, takes i'm very restless brother i'm very yeah. restless i But couldn't enjoy but the moment you take the word and the moment you take your medicine with the word of god you can bind you bind meaning what you can actually destroy the negative effects of that medication and you can receive only the good effects of that of that of that medication also you can take galatians chapter 3 verse 13 you can say christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law therefore every negative effect of those medication all the side effects of this medication i bind it i destroy it and only the good effects only the positive effects only the healing effects of that medication i receive in my body in the name of jesus galatians I, galatians 313 313 thank yeah. you brother so galatians 313 then also you can also take the scripture from uh, uh, mark chapter 16 verse number 18 because in mark chapter 16 verse number 18 it says you know you shall you shall drink any deadly thing if you are a believer i'm not saying you're taking a deadly thing but when the doctor says you know what you can you take the strong medication now they are strong because he knows when you take so many antibiotics there are going to be side effects to your body there are going to be side effects on your intestine there is going to be affecting your your excretory tract there will be loose motion there will be indigestion there will be there will be you know but all these side effects you can bind it because when you take any deadly thing that deadly thing is not going to harm you that deadly thing is going to only cause the good effects and destroy the virus in your body and bring healing into your body 
Praise Amen. God. Thank you. Praise God. And praise God. And that's why you go to the doctor and tell him, doctor, you said strong medication. You know, it was so strong for the virus because my God never gave anything strong to other parts of my body. I'm feeling excellent right now. My appetite has increased. I'm, I'm completely healed because by his stripes and by his wounds, I have received healing. Yes, I'm going to shine again. Yeah, I want to see give my him face. a testimony. Let him know. Just as you're sharing here to all of us, see my... and he's going to be received by everybody. You go now and start doing a Macarena dance and say, my God has healed me. Now look at that. You're even, you're even now ready to advertise for a Colgate toothpaste. Look at that. Look at that. No, I, I, will, I will smile and I will come and sing and show everyone that I'm sweet 16. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Isn't our God an awesome God? And you know, Sister Joyce, the yeah. very fact that you took us to two halves of your life, the life where you became a widow, the life where you know you were all on your own, the life when you were all struggling, the time when you were all, you know, going through all these battles as you were young, you know, people coming with proposals, and then finally the Lord taking on this journey, protecting you to bring you to this place where now you are testifying not what you have done, but what he has done through his word. Amen? Isn't that awesome? Jesus. Awesome God. I will go back to the doctor to show my God to him. Praise God. Praise God. Thank I, you, I Jesus. I tell Jesus that I have to eat because I have to shake his hand. You are going to God. take me there. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Thank God. you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, brother, Jesus. Thank you, brother, for the opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. I've Isn't never given God a an awesome God? like this. Yeah. And you know, and Sister Joyce, is. you know what, Sister Joyce, what is the beautiful thing about your testimony is the moment the Lord introduced you to the word of God, gave you the understanding of the word of God, your battles never ended. They started, but now that you understand how the system works through the word, you are slowly receiving your miracles. You are receiving healing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Isn't True. that wonderful? True. I mean, because God loves you, he is holding you by the palm of his hand. He loves you so much. He has said, even though you have gone through such a big life, you have gone through so many battles in your life, there are times you did not know him. There were many times you in your own, in your own, in your own wisdom, in your own understanding, you lived your life. But look at this God. He got you through his word. He got you through the man of God. He got you through Brother Linton. He got you through Yolanda. He got you through Brother Johnson. He got you through Sister Marina. You got he got you through different, different people so that they could feed you the word, they could share the word with you, and now. As you're growing in that word, as you're beginning to understand that word, as you begin to apply that word, God is not only giving you healing, yeah. but he's making you usable so you can go and share the word with your family members, with the people around you, like Sister Marlene is going, you're one of those, you're sharing the word with her. You are fellowshipping with people. You want to be with people who are rooted in the word. You don't want to be with people who will, who will lower your faith. You want to be with people yes, who are yes, going to let yes. your faith grow. Isn't that true? Very true. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Very Praise, true. God. Praise, God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank Praise you, God. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sister Joyce, for that wonderful testimony. Glorifying God to his word, what he has done in your life. That's our God. Praise That's God. our God. Right. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank Praise you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank next you, Sunday Jesus. I'll, next Sunday, I'll be giving all glory to Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise I know God. for sure. Praise God. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sister Thank Joyce. You. Thank you so much for your testimony. Praise God. So my sister and brothers, you know what? When as we begin to give glory to God, as we begin to testify to the goodness of the Lord, this God who's faithful, he's not a God who basically loves, he doesn't have sadistic pleasure to see his children suffering. If he has chosen you in Christ, he's going to put people into your path who are going to come and share the word to you. That word that you're going to receive is going to build your relationship with him. And through that word, you're going to see the victory. And when you see the victory, he will make you usable in order to reach out to others 
with the good news of the gospel. Amen. I want to now introduce you to another brother of ours. I've met him in, in Malaysia. I've, I've actually shared the word in his house. He's here with us today, Brother Charles Sundaraj from KL. Brother, please come over and share with us your testimony. Welcome, Brother Charles. Welcome, Brother. Hi, Brother. Hi, everyone. Hi, good evening, God. everyone. Can you all hear me? Yes, Brother. We can hear you nice and clear. If you yeah, could no? come and we could see your handsome face, it would be wonderful <laughs> because everybody may be saying, who is this brother Charles? Who is this one you are told today to share the word or uh, to share his testimony? So come along, brother. This me. Yeah, that's my brother <laughs> Charles. Yes. And yeah. I remember having gone, which place was it? Clang, brother? Clang. In, in Clang? Clang. In Clang, yeah. Yeah, you're in Clang. Yeah. And I remember at his house when we shared the word, we had such a big crowd oh, right yes. in the galleries everywhere listening to the word yeah. of God. Praise right. God. Go ahead, brother Praise Charles. God. Go ahead. Okay, brother. Just want to thank you for allowing me to share. Uh, you know, during this pandemic time, uh, sometime last year, when many of them were dying, a lot of scriptures was running in my mind, you know. You know, worries came in. You know, like God said, thousand may fall beside you, ten thousand all around you. Do not be afraid. As Praise time God. went on, Praise as time, I, when time went on, I was telling God, you know, it's not good. There must be some way of, you know, getting some thing, you know, done for these people to get healed. So, and I also told you, uh, one of the scriptures where, you know, in the desert, where the snake bites and, you know, where God said, make a snake out of bronze and then put it there, anybody see it. So I said, there must be something like that to come about, you know, there are many of them. Slowly vaccination was coming in. And when the vaccination came in, a lot of negatives was going on. Yeah. So yeah. one part I was telling God, you know, why when we pray, you have given something, just trust. And mind went in. I don't know whether it is my mind or God's wisdom that spoke to me. Like he says that, you know, many business people, like, you know, those who are selling masks and gloves, may their business will be reduced for that, you know, a lot of, all this, uh, you know, this, uh, what we say, the negatives will come out. You know, this, uh, what we say, I want to talk. So this, it automatically came in my mind like that. I said, I was sitting and uh, just one evening, I was just talking to God. Am I talking or you're talking? God, I laughed to myself. <laughs> a kind yes. of a laughter, like a relationship came in. So as time went on, you know, I told you, know, there was some uh, requirement that if you don't vaccinate, you cannot travel even out of my state. Right, right. So I just forgot that I need my family and I to be vaccinated. It was sometime this year when we prayed and all of a sudden we were asked to register. Within two weeks, God got us a nice uh, thing and I, I had a fear. And then a message came like, you know. No, brother, you got registered two weeks for what? For vaccination. For vaccination, when I mean, so, when I got so, there, so for how long you have been deliberating whether to go for the vaccination or not to go no, for the vaccination? No, I wanted to go and I registered. Okay. When I got registered, then within two weeks they gave me uh, two weeks uh, uh, what appointment? That means my appointment was the thirty first of May. Okay. So I got it two weeks before that, and I was contemplating whether to go or not. So then came again, you asked for it, I given you, why are you, uh, you know, what is stopping you? And you know, the message like automatically, you're going to be vaccinated by my blood. And that is what I went, I said, I'm going to be vaccinated. I went for the first one. I had my wife and I had no problem. And when, the, because AstraZeneca, it will take about, you know, uh, supposed to be 90 days. So they gave us now after 60 days. So while doing that, I told my children uh, who are younger, uh, young people, they were they were not vaccinated. So I told God, you know, I need my children also to be vaccinated. When I'm going for my second one, they got their first dose and the second dose was done. Now mine is already four weeks. And I like to place that back on, you know, I can see the God's message, God's talk. It is there. So it is just a matter of trusting him, loving him, how to take his words. And I thank you, you know, that is how actually I used and God has delivered me from so many things. And I really praise and thank God. 
praise god praise yeah. god but yeah. but brother now that you have taken the first dose have you taken both your doses both, both my dose yeah both my second dose already for which so you have finished both your doses now yes okay so so are you are you more confident now after taking both the doses or uh, you know it was i can understand your situation because you were sharing this before taking the vaccination you knew that you are vaccinated by the blood of jesus then right. you hear that because of the vaccine vaccines they've got so many effects negative effects this another thought that comes to your mind That, now that was before, you, before vaccination <laughs> before the vaccination and then you finally before. take the vaccination and you realize oh my now i'm vaccinated by the blood of jesus god you would never have created the vaccine if it was not supposed to be good for us i yes. now take it not out of fear but i take it because it's going to enable me to travel across i need to go on work i need to do my job and it is not going to restrict me because i am going to get a certificate isn't that yes. wonderful brother isn't wonderful. that wonderful but well, now uh, brother up to that when uh, many of them you know some i hear negative and people that uh, i told them you know one of them and do uh, did the exercise two days after uh, vaccination and i told that person also you know you don't go and bring it immediately you know give some time because the immune is down you know you have to build your system up in order so i said god also asked you to take care of yourself i was telling to others in, even in my group i put that we are vaccinated by the blood of god but we also have to take care of ourselves now we are taking care because we know that you know god has given us how obedient are you also to the laws absolutely That's very important absolutely. you know just because when you say uh, you know that you got when god said you know you don't go out for 10 days please you don't go out for 10 days that is what it is you know, because it is set by god right. you know when you take it as god say i believe that by uh, putting it to him he will know what best is for us absolutely absolutely mm. and you know brother when when you, when you shared about your concerns because i know that you have been rooted in the word you know we've been coming to malaysia for the last 3 years you have been yeah. hearing the word you 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 receive the word every day from me you've been hearing the word of god from so many yeah. others brother johnson and all of them this word has actually let you grow in your faith because i know sometimes you always are there with your you know you send your comments you send your right. questions you send something and i know mm. that you are always you are growing in the word each time right. when, you, when you share whatever you want to share you have your concerns you always are quick to you know raise your doubts but yeah. the important thing is through this relationship your fear has gone away and faith has grown inside of you that's that exactly good. what it is isn't it yes brother and what about your family what about my dear sister and the children oh, all of i have because she is now on the alpha they are having the alpha course online Okay, okay. You know, okay, so okay. you know, she was listening to it when I was having my dinner. I told her, "Sir, I asked for fifteen minutes." I was okay. going through, and then, then she said, "Praise God! Praise God! Praise uh, God!" And what uh, about your? Was it your brother? Your brother, wasn't it? Which one is that? We 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 went to first to your place, and was it your sister or your brother? Whose place did we go to? No, uh, you came to my place first when I uh, had sister Helen asked. So I offered my place. after that we went to another place called the uh, treasures place treasures place correct correct yeah. treasures place that's yes, yes. one of the church our church that's uh, right that's right that's meeting right. uh, first was my house and we had a crowd and you know i remember when day, we parked our car just around your place the dogs in the whole society or the whole <laughs> area they made such a ruckus there right. the whole society knew that we had come to share the word at your place <laughs> all right uh, praise god praise god, god. in fact you know after when you came uh, when you came and after praying and that's the time i traveled to russia for one week and i came back and i thank god you know when i came back only after that I couldn't travel because of covid mm. praise god mm. thank you jesus thank the you testimonies but testimonies where you and and the jc ila ilm gives uh, really it grows it actually grows me almost every day makes me grow Praise mm. God! Praise God, brother! Praise yeah. God! Yeah. I'm actually planning to to make another trip to Malaysia probably sometime in October. So I'll see yeah. you all. There's so many new people there, Priscilla, yeah. the children. There are youth who are really you know growing there from Malaysia. Yes. So so maybe you know we'll have another session in Klang maybe mm. next time when I come. 
my house is open no worries praise god praise <laughs> god thank it's you jesus. God. thank yeah. you brother thank you brother Welcome. charles for your thank you very testimony. much thank you sharing you know everything you know it's not yes. just about sharing the good part even sharing our concerns even sharing you know our own fears but how through our through our you know intimacy with the word how our faith has taken away those fears and how now we are able to face our situation because we have the lord with us and we know that he has already won the victory for us well, isn't that true exactly like what just now brother sandeep was telling really vaccinated by the blood of christ that's yes, right that's right that's right yes. absolutely and and, and yeah. brother sandeep is another person he's been coming only for the last one and a half years since we you know we met you know and he's hindi speaking we met only a one and a half year ago when we were in pune because we were sharing the word and now in the last one year he's been doing his own bible class in hindi is such a blessing to the ministry he is now mm. going to varanasi to share the word people uh -huh. growing in the word that such a wonderful thing happened <laughs> praise god praise, praise god, god. Uh -huh. Thank you, brother Charles. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you, thank, much. thank you, brother okay. Charles. Thank you All so right. much for your testimony. Right. Praise God. Praise God. Isn't that thank awesome? You. Isn't that Please. awesome? Praise mm -hmm. God. Praise God. All right. Actually, so you know, my actually, sister and brothers. Uh, one more. When yes, brother. You are guiding us on the Bible, you know, in praise our house and by our house, how to tap, you know, into the Word. That really has helped us with the Spirit of God. Praise Without God. the Spirit, we cannot. It really helped us. Praise it God. It helped me actually. Praise mm. God. Praise God. Okay. Thank, Thank you, brother. Thank, Thank you, brother Charles. Thank that you. was so inspiring, okay. and you right. know, just keep the faith. I'm going to probably the next time we come, I will want you to share uh, some time and give you know the the teaching because I know you have really been growing in your faith as well and growing in the word. So I'm sure right. the next time with all your questions that you ask, keep asking in between. <laughs> You are really yeah. getting stronger in the word to one day to have your own Bible class for sure. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes, my dear. Thank, thank, thank you, brother. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother Charles. Thank you. Thank you. So praise God, my sister and brothers. You know, God doing great, wonderful things in the lives of our brothers and sisters. You know, it's just that when you go and share the word, and you know, the understanding is given. God works supernaturally through people in our life, and that's exactly what's happening through all the testimonies that we are hearing so far. Isn't that wonderful? The moment we begin to hear the word of God, the moment we begin to get that understanding, now we begin to experience that victory in our own life. And when we experience that victory in our own life, now we can actually stand on a pulpit and share what the Lord has done. and tell everybody that we belong to a great god we serve a great god a god who is always faithful to his word amen praise god thank you jesus so we have another sharer my sister verena sister verena where are you you are our next sharer right now the floor is yours you can share your testimony now you can unmute yourself i think i've given you uh, i've given you the unmute So, all right. Okay, I want to tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Praise God. And by Jesus, because um, he. In my plan for one and a half years, and I couldn't go out of the country because I'm looking for work, and I was also in a bit like um, for five weeks. I had like a job assistant program, um, exit employment. And then this week I had um, um, another um, on bridge program for women and business. So it um, got arranged it so well that um, my son and his dad were coming um, la the two weeks before, just like perfect timing when I was not so busy. I could say, take some time off. I could be hospital, cook for them, go out with my son, do some. <laughs> spend time with him so thanks god that he has united us even though i didn't know that it would happening that way i was always thinking oh so my sister verena now that you have actually got connected to your to your ex husband to your son what have you been you know in the word what have, what has been your prayer what has been that scripture which 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 god had put into your heart which you have been praying for your for your family 
so that you could have finally this union where you could show them agape love, you could cook for him, you could make him his favorite dishes. What was the scriptures? What was the connection that you were making? I, I basically forgave them everything, like whatever went wrong, whatever was not right, whatever wrong was done to me, and also they I also asked for forgiveness from them also. They from from their side when they were there. So I felt like oh, it's okay, like I am I just have I just want to forgive them. That was not easy. Like I think last year when I saw them routine, I got really angry also. Okay. Um, I was, um, but because I was always listening and like the first um, thing to receive healing is always to forgive other people like in the face of law, like the law of faith. First step is always to forgive, right? So so, so the forgiveness part was um, one of the very key yeah, elements. And then you can speak to the mountain, right? Yeah, yeah. So forgiveness was the key factor, wasn't yeah, it? So because, as yeah, you began to forgive your son, as you began to forgive yeah. your ex-husband, as you begin to let go of all those hurts, now, you know, you found the path being opened up for you and you were able to pray for them. And eventually, two weeks ago, without you going to them, they came over and you could have a great time with your with your son. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, and it was always in my heart that I want to be reunited with my son this year. But I didn't know. I was thinking, I have to go, but they came. I, I didn't have to do anything to be available. And God planned it so great that I was actually also available for two weeks. Praise God. Praise God. You know, uh, Sister Verena, you, uh, as, I, as I shared with you before, I informed you before, you know, when God put into your heart, even though you had your work, even though you were working at that time, you decided to take a break and go and look after your parents in Germany. You came back, no job. You got your roommate. Now, how, do, how are things going to manage? And yet, you simply came faithfully to the word. You've been coming to the word. You've been listening to the word. I know you're going through your own battles. No doubt about it. It's not easy. No job. You got your parents there. Ex-husband. Son is not communicating. But yet, you simply, you know, clung to the word. Clung to it. You just clung to it. That's exactly what you did. And that word that you've been holding on to the promise has allowed you now to slowly begin to see your miracle unfolding. First and foremost, your family reuniting. That opportunity to meet your parents. And now God is putting another thought into your heart. Maybe that, that job for malaria, typhoid, cholera waiting for you there in Germany. I don't know. But maybe that assignment, that PhD would open up some other avenues for you. But when you are going to hold on to the word, you can be sure holding on and holding on to that promise and being faithful to the word, you will see God being faithful to you as well. That's the promise. That's the promise. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, as long as we are going to stay faithful to him, because he said, you remain, you be faithful, I will be faithful. You deny me, he will deny us. Surely he'll deny us. But if, if we remain faithful, he continue, even though we remain unfaithful, he still remains faithful. It's only when we deny him that he will deny us. Because Isn't he has said, more? yeah, but as long as we are faithful to him, we can be sure that we are going to see the best of his. That's what we heard earlier. John chapter 10, Sister um, Joy shared that. She said, I came to know about John, John 10, 10. He says, the thief comes to kill, steal and destroy. But he came, Jesus came so that we may have life. And so this abundant life that you are slowly being prepared to receive, it requires a preparation on your part. It won't happen because if you're not prepared to receive that life that he has prepared for you, it will overwhelm you. You'll blow it up. You can blow up all your blessings if you're not prepared to receive those blessings. So God is preparing you for your miracle. He's preparing you for the, to receive those blessings. But while you're going through your suffering, while you're going through that, you know, through, through your Good Friday, remember, you simply hold on to the word because your Easter is around the corner. I said your Easter is round the Christ corner God. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Does anyone my testimony, hear you? My yeah. testimony goes even further because like when I was pregnant with my son, I got a message from somebody like um like a from a friend of mine. Um I dreamt that you're pregnant and it will be difficult. Um just trust in Jesus. <laughs> And, and he knew before I knew that I'm pregnant because he got that dream. So God speaks to dreams. He speak, spoke to the dream Praise through God. my Praise friend. Like, so, so I always, I didn't understand maybe. Like now I'm so thankful God sent me here, even though a lot of things didn't work out. But I met so many people who were rooted in the word. Especially like last year before COVID, I made also connections in my church and was so impressed by people who got here from um, their illness, just like, like, like you're doing, like keeping on the promises of God and using the scriptures, not taking medication, but just using the word for healing. And, oh. and then, then uh, when I, I got connected also to you, to so somebody here in Mississauga, when I went for like a retreat to for pray for your sons and daughters, and then how that why I was connected with you, and then when you started um, like uh, teaching regularly in the morning for me in Canada. Um, I after some time I joined right and then um, sometimes I, like whenever I'm in Canada it's easy to manage because it's in the, in the morning so I just have to get up but like um, so yeah it had, has helped me so much to grow in my face so that I can like testify to the God to God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and you know sister and, Brenna what is the most important thing is what is the time there in Canada when you begin to get up to come to attend this class? What is the time in Canada? 4.30? 5.30? <laughs> no, 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 no. In the winter, it was 5.30. Now it's 6.30. So in the winter, it was 5.30. Now it is 6.30. And consistently, you wake up early in the morning to attend this class. I mean, you could probably in winter say... Sometimes oh, I don't. But most of times the Holy Spirit wakes me up. I don't even put the alarm. It's just like even one time I sensed, oh, the Holy Spirit is there. <laughs> I have to <laughs> get up. <laughs> so Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. And because I don't requires... like to put the alarm. I don't like. <laughs> and that requires commitment. You know, you know what, what the Lord is looking for? He's looking for our commitment to be available to hear his word. Because when we commit ourselves, remember, you know that song which goes, you take one step towards the Savior. He takes 10 steps towards us. We only need to show that inclination. We need to show that, that desire to come to him. And you know, when you step to the Lord, remember the Lord is not going to go further away. He's going to move towards you and he's going to, you know, help you understand. He wants to have that intimacy with you. So that relationship that you have developed with the Lord through his word all these months is only the preparation ground for you for that big miracle that he has kept for you around the corner. So as you begin to see your life, well, now, now see, you were able to see your parents, you were able to see your ex-husband and your son, whom you have been wanting to see. They came to your place, spent time with you. Now he's putting into your heart the next stage, you know, those thoughts about, you know, whether Germany could be the place you go from Canada to Germany. Maybe, you know, that's your, that's your desire because you've been mentioning so many times that I've done this PhD, I need to do this research in your know, probably in cholera or, I mean, in, in malaria or whatever this, and you never know what could be that field where you could be a blessing by, you know, doing that thesis of yours. But at the same time, this word that you have grown into could now be an opportunity for you in order to share your own testimony to so many people. Right? Just like you shared it right now, there may be people who will re receive the word from you directly. And who knows those people who really need to hear the word of God, you are being prepared or for them to take that word even in your home country of Germany. Amen? Amen. Praise I believe Lord. that. I strongly believe that. You did not go to Germany about a few months ago to look after your parents. It was only to scout the place. It was only to do a scouting like, the, like Moses sent the, tens, the 12 spies to the promised land, to the land of Canaan to spy. And only, ten, only two came back and said, we can take the land. But the 10 said, we cannot. 
you have gone as a spy to your own country not not a spy in that sense but only to scout the land because he has got so much of potential for you there he's got so much of good things for you there he's got your your parents there he's got your brothers and sisters there he has prepared you in canada so that when you go there on work you will also be able to do the lord's work or i would put it this way you are going to go to germany to do the lord's work and you are also going to do your thesis no okay, i did already way. my thesis i want to work back in my field yeah <laughs> to work to work to work that's what i said you are going to you are you are going to go to germany to share the gospel and you are also going to work instead of i saying you are going to work and also share the gospel i will rather put it to you this way you are going to go to share the gospel and you are also going to get a job as well amen oh, praise god <laughs> Yeah. Amen. 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 And we all come into agreement. I hope everybody of us in this class will agree with what exactly says God has put in our sister Verena's heart that we all come into agreement. I want everyone to put a put an amen if you agree. So let's truly really come into agreement for our sister Verena that this desire that God has put into our heart, this love that He has put into our heart, this preparation that He has done for her, this preparation is only. for the real thing that god is prepared for her just like our sister mariola at 82 she would never have thought in her mind that god is going to use her at this age to go out and share the gospel she should be sitting and retiring and you know you know really allowing other people to serve her but at 82 this nun who has done all the positions whatever whether superior principal i don't know what position she has held but even today she still goes out in 82 house to house you know on the streets going to so far of places to share the gospel to give the good news to the poor and this is exactly what i believe for our sister verena all this whole year she has only been giving she went to her parents in germany she she prayed for her son even though her son is not staying with her and now as she began to get all these little miracles happening in her life I really believe. I really believe. We all come into agreement that God is preparing her for the real thing back in Germany, so she can be a blessing in the kingdom of sharing the gospel and also have her needs met through a job that is being prepared for her there. And we all agree right now in Jesus' name, Amen. 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 So, my sister Verena, on that score. since you are the last sharer and we just got 5 minutes for our hindi class to start i want you to end the session with a closing prayer so go ahead and make that closing prayer please in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit thank you god that you have guided us to the holy spirit and let the session so that we can close the testimonies needs of every person here who listened and who will be listening thank you god that you have planted your word in our hearts so that we can cling to it and um, believe in your promises amen 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 thank you amen. jesus amen. thank you thank you jesus praise god praise god praise god